Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're checking out the Marvelous Machine on Steam. This is a 15 minute experience. A big thank you to the developers for this review key. I'm playing on the Oculus with the touch controls. Please be seated. Press the A button. The experience will take 15 minutes. Listen closely to the narrator and make sure you're in a quiet setting where you can relax without being disturbed. Feel free to adjust the image quality settings at any time by using the up and down keys on your keyboard. I'm leaving everything by default. The Marvelous Machine. Press A to begin. Press B to set your VR headset orientation. Okay, let me reset my view. That's better. Okay, wow. This looks really cool so far. Really nice art style. Really nice um, decor. It's like an old iron train station. I'm in some sort of chair. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I'm going down. I don't want you to learn anything, but I invite you to use your curiosity to explore. Because when you're exploring, you don't need a set goal, you just simply have a direction. And when you're not completely focused on achieving a specific goal, you can start to notice all the things that are actually going on around you. And you can notice opportunities as they present themselves along the way. And you can choose to explore those opportunities freely, without being restricted by expectations. And you can enjoy things as they happen, because they don't have to be measured against a specific goal. And that will make it all worthwhile, regardless of where you end up. So, let's go exploring. Let's explore this great big marvelous machine that is your mind. Okay, that's impressive. I'm loving the art style so far. A really great atmosphere. Can you tell the difference between reality and imagination? I'm sure you can. By now you've probably figured out what the real world looks like how it feels, how it behaves, even how it smells and tastes. But still, when you're experiencing something together with other people, like sharing a meal at a restaurant or listening to music, there's a good chance that their experience is different from yours. Why is that? If they're having a different experience from you, are you really experiencing reality? Or are you experiencing your reality? Okay, we're on a track. Is this a roller coaster? If this is a roller coaster, this is one of the best roller coasters I've seen. If you look in front of you right now, you're not just seeing bricks, pipes, rails and bolts. You're seeing your version of them your own thoughts projected by your mind, based on your prior experiences, your knowledge, your beliefs, your expectations, your taste, even your current mood. Perhaps you haven't noticed it, but you have thoughts about everything that you can notice around you. Thoughts that are unique to you, that make you interpret the things around you in a way that's unique to you. And it's so easy to just get caught up in it, to not question what we experience, 
to forget that what we see and react to is actually our own thoughts. It's so easy to feel that our reality is something that just happens to us, outside of us, that we're not part of its creation, that the world around us is telling us how to feel, think, and react, as if we were experiencing it from the outside in. But the reality you experience every day is your own, and it's based on your thoughts. Your reality comes from the inside out, and since you are the one creating those thoughts, you can also change your reality. You own it, and as long as you remember that, your mind will always be open to new possibilities. Okay, this is so immersive. All the surround sound. As you enter through these doors, enter into a new adventure. An adventure where things are not learned, but discovered. Discovered through exploration and curiosity. Discovered through play. Oh, I invite we're going you up. to explore the idea that you are not your thoughts. Just like you are not your job, your possessions, your situation, or what people think about you. You are not even that part of your mind that loves to analyze every little thing it can notice. The cogs and wheels busy at work, grinding away. They are just thoughts. Nothing more. I invite you now to explore what lies beyond your thoughts, beyond what is being projected by your mind. And to do that is the simplest thing in the world. Just stop. That's right, just do nothing. It's that simple. Let that beautiful analytical machine inside your head rest for a while. And if a thought comes up, don't touch it. Don't act or react to it. Just let it be. Don't try to stop thinking. Instead, just let your thoughts pass by. Just let them pass by in a carefree sort of way. Explore without any expectations and just notice what happens. If thoughts are buzzing everywhere, that's fine. Just let them buzz without getting involved. Just listen to my voice and notice how your mind gradually becomes more still. Listen to my voice and notice the difference. Okay, this is really interesting. It's different. How does that feel? I'm quite now, relaxed. Back away and go beyond that feeling. It's running really smooth so far. What do you feel now? Now, back away and go beyond that feeling as well. How does that feel? Look around you. See if you can explore your surroundings with new eyes. Eyes that don't explain or label anything. Eyes that don't judge or compare. Eyes that only experience shapes, colors, and sound. And notice the difference. Notice how beautiful things can become when they are just allowed to be, rather than fixed inside the boundaries of your past experiences. Notice how beautiful they can be when viewed directly 
without trusting your thoughts to tell you what you see. Just explore without judgment. How does that feel? If you feel that you don't quite understand, that's a good thing. You're not looking for an intellectual understanding. It's a feeling, and it comes from within you. Some people travel great distances or go through great ordeals in an attempt to find the answer. But it's not really something that you can find, because it's always there with you. All you have to do is to scale away everything else by letting your mind go silent for a moment. You can always experience it in the stillness of your mind. It's so simple, and that's the beauty of it. The more complexity and meaning you try to add to it, and the more you try to explain it, the further away from the truth you will come. If you think you understand and that you've figured it out, you're not quite there yet. There's nothing to figure out. Just listen and try to go beyond my words. Try to see what I'm getting at without focusing on the way I'm saying it. If you're getting a negative feeling, you're not hearing. But if you get a positive feeling, you're getting there. It's getting through to you, and it will gradually fall into place over time, bit by bit. Some days, this may come easier than others, but that's all right. It doesn't really matter, because you're exploring. Exploring without expectations. Exploring without goals. And exploring something when you're driven by curiosity is always worthwhile. Let's start up that big machine inside your head again and see what happens. Yes, please. I don't like being stuck in this room for so long. Notice that it's different this time. Because now you know that you can have a different relationship to your thoughts. You always have a choice. You can decide for yourself which thoughts you want to keep and which thoughts to just let go of. And you can create new thoughts out of that wonderful machinery and decide for yourself how you want to see the world. This is where the strength is. This is where the power lies. You can go from one reality to another simply by changing your mind. I am getting a bit bored now, stuck in this one room. That was too long. Okay, at least we're moving. Let's go deeper down and explore some new thoughts. Notice how you think differently when you're thinking from a state of stillness. It's so much easier to see the true nature of things when your mind is still, when you're not caught up in thoughts and feelings. You may have noticed that in your daily life, many of your thoughts relate to the past. Some of these thoughts can feel really good, like fond memories. But there are also thoughts that can make you feel quite miserable. But it's not the past itself that causes that pain. The pain is contained within your interpretation of the past. And it's up to you to decide how you want to relate to your past. You can't change the past, but you can change the way you relate to it. Remember that the past doesn't exist anymore. It is only kept alive in your mind through your thoughts. So if a thought from your past makes you feel bad, incapable, restricted or negative in any way, just let it pass. It's just a thought. Don't try to change it. Just let it pass. I did have negative thoughts in that room up there. 
And while we're on the subject, the future doesn't exist either. It can still feel good to look forward to things or to entertain yourself with the thought that some of the best days of your life haven't happened yet. But there are also thoughts about the future that can make us feel bad. Thoughts of worry, anxiousness and stress relating to the uncertainty of the future. But just let them pass. They're just thoughts. The only thing that exists is right now. And when you're not caught up in your thoughts, it's a magnificent and beautiful place to be. You have the freedom of thought, and it's one of the most valuable things you have, and no one can ever take that away from you. So don't let thoughts about the past determine who you are or what you're capable of today. And don't let thoughts about the future hold you back. Instead, just explore. Explore without limits. Okay, that's cool. Wow. I want to see more. I want to see more of that end end sequence. Okay, that was interesting. I was not a big fan of being stuck in that one room for that amount of time. It seemed to go on and on and on for too long. Um, the ending there, I want to see more of the, the world at the end there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.